At number one on the list of stories everyone's talking about, Binder Women Unbound. Post debate number two, a clear winner eclipses candidates. Binder Women Unbound and rampaging across the internet in a memes explosion. Viral heavyweights weighing in on the memorable mention. Hillary's back on her Blackberry. Ryan Gosling, hey girls it. Even Gangnam catching the wave before horse dancing into obscurity. Who says war is a continuation of politics? It's internet comedy. At number two, stop the presses. Literally, not often you hear about an 80 year old making the switch to digital, but it happened today. Editor in chief Tina Brown announced Newsweek magazine will ditch paper for kilobytes and take the operation all online. First published in the Great Depression, the once golden standard of news weeklies recorded an American century in prize winning prose and pictures. Tree killing ends December 31st. At number three, fall from grace. Australia's Prime Minister Julia Gillard hitting the deck, sparking a new round of discussion on the struggle women face with high heels on ABC's Good Morning America. If you uh, wear a heel, it can get embedded in soft grass. Uh, you know, the rest of it is uh, as you saw. Prime Minister joins a long list of well heeled tumblers Lady Gaga, Beyonce, J Lo, and a fair share of runway models. This is why I do not wear four inch heels. It's like walking on a tightrope made of ice. Maybe you should try a pair of Crocs. On to a different kind of whining. At number four, the wrath of grapes. Euro wine drinkers have been hammered with the worst harvest of wine grapes in 50 years. Drought, cold, and hail blitzed crops. Champagne and Burgundy vineyards extra smashed. Europe accounts for 60% of wine production worldwide. So California hoping to pick up the tab with a forecasted superior harvest this year. Cheers to Made in USA. And at number five, Mixpensive. A 20 year old jug of barbecue sauce has been sold to an unidentified buyer for 10,000 bucks. Why? It's Mick Jordan sauce, as in Michael Jordan. Seller believes it's the last remaining trace of the 1992 McDonald's burger tie-in with the NBA legend. Nothing but net. Profit. And now you're caught up and clued in on the top of the list.